and the James Webb Telescope, the largest and most powerful ever launched into space. There should not be primordial galaxies that are bigger than the Milky Way galaxy that are only half a billion years old. Its infrared capabilities enable it to peer through cosmic dust and clouds. Scientists have long been marveling at the secrets of the universe. However, the more they discover, the more they realize they haven't even started scratching the surface. However, the James Webb Telescope came to the rescue as it continued delivering images of planets farther into space. In one of these explorations, the telescope discovered an image of an amazing galaxy from the edge of the universe. Stick around as we discuss what the James Webb Telescope discovered at the edge of the universe. The vastness of the universe never fails to boggle the mind. The fact that we've been exploring it for years but we haven't got half of it means the universe is far more than we can imagine. However, much of the limitation is the capacity of the equipment astronomers are using, which has restricted our knowledge horizon. Several telescopes such as the Spitzer Space Telescope and Hubble couldn't gaze farther into space to discover more amazing things. However, the recently launched James Webb Telescope came to the rescue as it gives quality images of farther exoplanets and galaxies. The first image from the Billion Dollar Telescope is the farthest humanity has ever seen, both in time and distance. NASA built the telescope to gaze into distant planets and galaxies, and it spotted the galaxies at the edge of the universe. According to NASA, the James Webb Telescope is so sensitive to infrared light that it can detect even the slightest heat at a distance from the moon. It could also see details as small as an ant and as far as millions of miles. To explain it better, the telescope is 100 times more cogent than the Hubble telescope, which we have used for decades. The James Webb Telescope is primarily designed for near-infrared astronomy, but can also see orange and red visible light, in addition to the mid-infrared region, depending on the instruments. It can also detect objects 100 times fainter than the Hubble telescope would. Although the Hubble has been providing stunning pictures and missions that have gathered dozens of terabytes of data over the decades and provided key insights into the universe, the telescope isn't enough. That is why the JWST is launched to take over the Hubble telescope. An example of the inadequacy of the Hubble telescope is that it hasn't allowed scientists to see the first galaxy formed after the Big Bang. However, the JWST is here to change all that. Amber Strawn, an astrophysicist, said in support of this telescope that it looks like a giant time machine. The James Webb Telescope specifically designed will let us see the first galaxies that formed after the Big Bang. The JWST will also be able to capture light traversing the cosmos for as long as 13.5 billion years, thereby extending our views of the universe several hundred million years earlier than Hubble did. The Webb Telescope was built and safeguarded with a good sun shield to function properly. The JWST needs to be kept cool all the time and that became possible thanks to a five-layer sun shield that is large like a tennis court. The shield was initially folded up when the telescope was launched but after two weeks the thin part of the layer was put back in position because without this shield the immense heat from the sun would be too much for the telescope's sensors. The side that faces the sun will experience a temperature of about 260 degrees. The coolness will chill the other side to some 370 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. The $10 billion isn't worth the amount without a gold-coated mirror. All its 18 mirror segments are covered with gold. However, the coating was made extremely thin to the extent that a strand of hair is even thicker. Due to the vastness of the universe, all of the light from the furthest reaches of space have been stretched to the point that it became infrared. So the only way to see this light is through an infrared telescope. Apart from that, an infrared telescope is better at gliding through dust clouds and other obscuring debris. With the 24 karat gold mirror, JWST can reflect infrared light better than other metals. Lest we forget, you shouldn't assume that the mirror is made of gold. It isn't made of gold, but beryllium. Despite all its essential elements, scientists haven't gotten a way to fix any issue about the telescope if any arise. In contrast, Hubble Telescope was only 340 miles away when five space shuttle crews called to do maintenance and upgrades repaired the telescope's poor vision and other tasks. In the case of James Webb, the telescope is nearly a million years away, far away from the reach of any repair crew. This circumstance makes scientists look on skeptically that if things continue as it is, 
The telescope will spend the year intended, which is 10. In a recent research submitted to the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical, the team made use of the first set of data from the James Webb Telescope, discovering a galaxy that formed approximately 250 million years following the Big Bang. Also set a new redshift record of Z equals 16.7. This finding is extremely interesting as it demonstrates the power of JWST, which only began sending back its data a few months ago. The galaxy is Kears 93316 with the KIRS representing Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science Survey. The KIRS is a deep and wide field sky survey program evolved specifically for JWST image studies. Dr. Rebecca Bowler, a fellow at the University of Manchester and a part of the research, has been unbelievable as she watched all of the records that stood for a long time with Hubble now getting broken. She said finding a Z equals 16.7 galaxy candidate isn't something they can't expect from early data as such. This discovery references a dozen previous studies that have measured objects up to redshift Z equals 10 using ground-based observations and with the Hubble and Spitzer Space Telescopes. Callum Donnan, a PhD student at the University of Edinburgh, said it is amazing to have already found such a distant galaxy with the web, especially because this is the first set of data from the telescope. He continued that it's important to note the galaxy must follow up observations using spectroscopy to be certain of the red shift. Kia's 93316 is 13.7 billion light years away at the edge of the universe and could be around 250 million years old. So scientists and astronauts are researching to know what is happening in galaxies as young as that and so soon after the Big Bang. Only a photometric redshift has been decided for Kia's 93316. Follow-up spectroscopic calculations will be required to confirm the red shift. The act could also determine the galaxy's chemical composition, size and temperature. The existence of spectroscopy in the early universe shows that it's composed primarily of dust and stars, which are very young and massive. Bowler mentioned that after the Big Bang, the universe entered an era known as the Dark Ages, in which no stars were born, so the observation of galaxy Kears 93316 has pushed observations back to the time when we believe the first galaxies ever existed were being formed. Based on the image data from NIRCAM, the research concluded that Kears 93316 might not be a low-mass star or an unhindered active galactic core. More galaxies have already been found in the early universe than computer simulations foretell, so there is a lot of open query about how and when the first galaxies and stars formed. With this unexpected finding from the JWST in just the first set of data, it is intriguing to think how much farther back in space this telescope could go, even if it may see the Big Bang itself. Bowler explains that the JWST can detect galaxies at redshift greater than 20, less than 200 million years after the Big Bang. These galaxies will likely be extremely hard to find, but the recent discovery by the JWST means many still exist. Redshift is part of what is well known as the Doppler effect, which astronomers use to measure distances in the universe. An example of this effect is the changes in the sound wave pitch as a long object travels towards you and then travels away from you. The sound waves when the object travels towards you are called blue shift, while the opposite is called red shift. This new research set a new redshift record, so scientists have measured the farthest object in the universe to date. While Donnan and Bowler stated that there are no further observations planned for Kears 93316, they hoped there would be in the future. As the world upgrades, so do the equipment we are supposed to use. When the Hubble was launched, it provided a lot of data for astronomy, but got overtaken by the new JWST, which goes further than any other telescope ever, and also gives a more precise image of its discoveries. 